Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well and you're getting ready for the holidays. Um, I have a new model that I finished up over this past weekend, so I wanted to share it with you and let you guys know what it was like putting it together. This is um, called the Architect. It's the Advanced Research Colonizer. It's a 1-3000 scale kit by Dream Gear. Um, I saw this online... Uh, probably a year or two ago, I think. And I had put, uh, I think I put a video up on it when I received it. But, um, so this is the front cover of it. And back. You can see here, it actually does have LEDs in it. Which you may not be able to tell currently, but it is actually on. But I'll bring it up closer so you can see it. I did want to go over a couple of things uh, with this kit in case somebody's interested in buying it. Um, the instructions are all visual, except for which I'm assuming is either Korean or Chinese uh, writing on them. But uh, some issues that I had. First one, so the LED that's in the base itself, uh, it has the circuit board. This is where you turn on the LEDs, you plug it in for power and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> You'll notice that the connector that goes to the base of the ship itself goes through this round tube. Well, it's a rectangular uh, connector to try to go through this. Uh, difficult to do, even if you follow this instruction, if you can see this here, to actually trim the bottom of this, it's still tight, trying to get it through that tube. Um, and even more so with this top piece that comes on, which essentially allows you to set the um, the model on it and it uh, allows you to swivel it so you can actually adjust you know the facing and uh, like if you wanted to point it up point it down that kind of thing right it's angled so this was kind of difficult to get through um, even with like I said even with trimming this there are a couple other issues that I had putting this together and the biggest one of the most frustrating ones was let's see if I can find the page real quick was actually putting so this piece to this piece there's LEDs in here there's a little circuit board in here and there's a little circuit board in here that these two things connect to. Well, these two pieces here, very, very tiny and very difficult to get them to mesh together. And that's even using essentially two tweezers to hold the wires so that you can actually pinched the two things together. It took several tries uh, to get that done. There are a couple other spots too where the connectors are very, very small and there's very little maneuver room. And I'll bring this up. So the LED that's in here, there's a connection that goes into this piece. That was also very, very tiny. And um, it took some effort to get it to get those two pieces to come together. But overall, um, this did not take me very long to uh, put together. I think I started it on a Friday. I finished it on a Sunday, working a few hours uh, each night to to do that. Um, I am pleased with how it turned out. You can see some of the LEDs in here, and I'm going to put up some. 
stills of what it looked like when I had all the lights off and stuff. You can see the LED uh, in here in the base or in this ring. And then, you know, whatever the power source is here, right? Different color than here. And then also you can see it for the engine itself, for its thrusters and on the other side. Um, for the kit itself, um, it actually has, for something that was uh, fairly simple, it actually had uh, a lot of depth to it. So there's lots of layers to build up. So essentially it comes in two pieces this way, and then you add the sides to it, and each side then builds up on it so you get some of this detail. You can see that. I did not paint this. What I did do, although there are some painting instructions in here, I decided to not do that. I ended up using a panel liner and just used black panel liner and just kind of went over it just to give it a little bit of a weathered look, bring, make some of that detail pop without actually adding any real color to it. And um, I'm actually happy with how it turned out. And like I was talking about, here's that section. So that connector went in between these two pieces here. And like I said, it was just difficult. Same thing with up here. If I can get it to focus. So that connector was in between this socket and this piece that this went over. And they were very tiny and very difficult to essentially put together. And for those of you who may be looking at this going, it looks kind of familiar-ish. Well, it, it's a spaceship based on the design of an airbrush. So if you're looking at it, so this would be your paint cup. Here's your trigger. Okay, and this is where you're, you know, you would unscrew for your needle. Okay. Air hose. So just kind of a neat little take on, you know, the shape of an airbrush. And I think there are three or four other designs that are similar to this by this company. Uh, like I said, it was worth it. Went, to, went together very easily. And I'm happy with it. And currently just to power it, I just have, I have a, one of those spare um, USB batteries that I'm using just to kind of power this up right now. But yeah, I mean, you can, you know, like I said, you can angle it, you can do other things with it, but that's it. That's what I have. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, again, happy holidays to everyone. Um, I hope things are going well in uh, wherever you're living with your families and everything else. And uh, I'll be back, hopefully, in a little less time than uh, between my last video and this one. But uh, again, everybody, happy holidays. And we'll talk to you all real soon. Bye.